Hi, I'm Jenna Lane, your Bucks Insider for SportsTalkFlorida.com. Free agency is upon us. Well, sort of. The league opened its second annual legal tampering period on Saturday, which is an opportunity for teams to reach out to the representatives of unrestricted free agents to gauge their interest and see just how much they're looking for. There have already been rumors that the Bucks are reaching out for Johnson, defensive end out of the Cincinnati Bengals. They are said to be one of several suitors who are vying for his services. And you can see why, given the fact that this defense is predicated on having a solid edge rusher. You saw that with Julius Peppers in Chicago, and you saw that with Jared Allen in Minnesota. As far as Johnson goes, my biggest concern with him was the drop-off in production last year. Had three and a half sacks after having 11 and a half in 2012, and prior to that, six sacks in 2011. Was 2012 a fluke year? Or does he still have a little bit more left in the tank? Personally, I think he does. At 27 years of age, I think he still has a lot left in the tank, and I think it's definitely worth trying to lure him over. Although, again, there's a lot of competition. At least the Bucks have sufficient funds to do so. Now, another guy to keep an eye on, aside from Jared Allen, who I think is going to be commanding top salary for this position, and he's 31 years old, and given that He's had the most sacks in the league for the last three seasons combined. I personally am going to step aside from that one. I think it's too much for this team to afford, even though they do have the 11th most cap space available. And I'm going to go with Everson Griffin, his teammate in Minnesota. Now, he's not quite the playmaker that Jared Allen is, but I think he's definitely got potential, and he's young too. Entered the league in 2010, 17 and a half sacks since then. Now, he's had some off-the-field issues with some legal woes, but I think as long as he has those things behind him, and I think that as long as he has the support of a guy like Leslie Frazier, who was his coach in Minnesota and is now the defensive coordinator in Tampa, he's definitely one to keep an eye on as well. Now, keep in mind, no pen can hit paper until Tuesday at 4 o'clock p.m., so up until then, all we're going to hear are a bunch of rumors about teams that are possibly interested in this player or this player or this player. You won't see any actual signings taking place, aside from guys re-signing with their own clubs, until Tuesday at 4 p.m. You can be sure that Sports Talk Florida will be on top of all of that. So with SportsTalkFlorida.com, I'm Jenna Lane.